What's going on fellow bears and beautiful people? Papa Bear, Papa Bear Knives here. Chicken just popped out an egg, letting everybody know. I don't know why chickens do that, but they love to tell people when they popped out an egg. Anyway, before I get too sidetracked by a chicken, today we're gonna take a look at a maker, who is not me, uh, and as you saw in the heading below, Bear Den Blades. Brian Davis, he is a really great guy and a really great maker. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this beauty right here. going to do is a little bit of cross batoning. I went in there pretty nice and deep considering I can't even get it out. <laughs> Jeez. All right time to abuse it. Sorry Brian but uh I'm going to abuse it a little bit. Good. Get out of there. It's a pretty nice chunk of wood I just did. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. This might take a minute, so we're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. As you saw, it did relatively quick work of batoning this thing in half, and this thing's a pretty solid piece of wood. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, cross baton. It cross batoned in half quick, pretty well, pretty quickly. So now we're gonna just go ahead and baton this down into smaller pieces, and we'll run some feathers on it. One of the things that I, I really liked while I was cross batoning is just how well that full flat grind was able to just dig right into that wood. I mean, that thing went in there really deep and it was really comfortable as I was doing that. I didn't feel any vibration and it really didn't hurt my hand holding the knife. And there's some knives out there on the market that will hurt my hand when I go to do any kind of cross batoning or any kind of batoning in general. This was not one of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and break this down. Now, the rule of thumb when it comes to batoning is you never want to baton bigger than your knife. Because um, that's just A, stupid, and B, a waste of time. So this is what we got. It's not a super big piece, but it's, it's enough to let us know how this is going to feel as we're doing it. Yeah, I like that. That does quick work with batoning too. And the edge is still nice and beautiful. This thing, by the way, guys, was stupid sharp when I got it. I mean, 
I, I don't know if it will be still, but oh yeah, that's still shaving my hairs. After the cross baton, probably don't want to see that, but I think still hair popping sharp. I believe this was uh, 8670. I know I probably put it in the specs. This thing, the edge is just still absolutely fantastic on it. So there's a lot of people out there who love a Scandi grind when it comes to their bushcraft and uh, campcraft stuff. I'm a huge fan of full flat grinds for just about everything. And I'm a lot more proficient with a full flat than I am a Scandi grind as well. I know there's people out there who love a Scandi grind and they're a lot more proficient with a Scandi grind. But, so I guess it's all about preference. But I am loving just how slicey this guy's full flat grind is. And it, it's really comfortable in my hand. That full fist grip I guess you want to call it hammer grip, fist grip, whatever you want to call it. It's very nice, very comfortable. I absolutely love putting my thumb on top of the spine, though. And even like this, guess what? That's still extraordinarily comfortable. All right, let's see here. Well, why did I throw that? I can still use that. We'll go ahead and carve this out real quick into a, the industries leading piece of thing to carve steak camp tent steak whatever you want to call it steak does pretty quick work of taking chunks off of there you gotta watch out there's snakes over here I've had a couple of them so far this year i'm blaming the chickens they're also probably trying to find water because we haven't had rain in like two months. I mean, we had some just a little bit ago, but it wasn't enough. Everything's so dry. Nice little point on there. Let's put a notch in here. We'll do it right here. Getting in there. Closer down here to the handle leverage there we go beautiful there we go that's our steak all right so this excels wonderfully at camp craft bush craft uh tasks in my opinion at least and uh i really think it's something you guys should check out he's a great maker he's a, a a great person uh he's very kind and easy to talk to easy to work with um yeah i'm definitely going to own more of his that is for sure that is for sure. So this is the, now, I don't know if it's 100% for a fact, but I think it's called the Little Bear. So Bear Den Blades, Bear Den Blades, try and say that five times fast, Little Bear. All right, so that's our bushcraft uh, stuff. You saw the cross, cross baton, baton. Oh, Ugh. we'll do get this big piece right here. Out of there. That's his sheath. I'm chopping. Oh, we forgot to strike a ferro rod. That's rotten. Let's get some 
fat wood. We'll do some fat wood for this because I don't want to do anything crazy. Any knife that can carve a piece of fat wood is just spot on in my opinion. This fat wood's I'm not a fan of carving fat wood. Ferro rod, where are you? Here we go. That'll work. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. That's the little bear. Bear Dan Blades. Let's go ahead and jump into some EDC tasks. That would taste nasty. So one of the things that Brian, uh, Bear Dan Blades offers is Kydex sheaths with his knives. As you see here, got it strapped to the front of us. Um, I believe he offers Kydex and leather occasionally, but I think the majority of the time it is Kydex. I added the strap myself. However, he, I think he's going to start offering straps. I'm not 100% positive, so don't quote me on that. But I believe he's going to start offering straps. I, I like to strap it to my vest, my plate carrier, as I'm doing laps. So if I decide that I want to chop some branches along the property line, I can. Or for any reason whatsoever. But the retention with the Kydex is actually, it's really well. It's really good. I look funny doing that. So you can hear it click in. Clicks out. There you go. So that is one thing you can look forward to with Bear Dan Blades is most likely you're going to get a sheath, whether it be Kydex or leather. Um, like I said, I think the majority of the time it is Kydex though. 